Ja, Sekunde mal, warte. Damit herzlich willkommen. Kann ich kurz was sagen, bevor wir loslegen? Ja, mach. Danke, dass du die Uhrzeit bei dem Maler eingestellt hast, nachdem du das Spiel gestartet hast. Bitteschön. Viele nehmen diesen Schritt nicht ernst. Sie lassen die Uhrzeit einfach bei 12 und lassen es gut sein. Aber du machst dir tatsächlich die Mühe, die Uhrzeit einzustellen und du weißt, das weiß ich zu schätzen. So weiß ich, dass wir die Erfahrung richtig, was, dass dir diese Erfahrung wichtig ist und du bist aufmerksam. Ich kann gar nicht wissen, ob wir von der eingestellten Uhrzeit korrekt sind. Pass auf, ich habe einen Vorschlag für dich. Du, da du so kooperativ warst, kannst du bei deinem nächsten Spiel statt, wenn du dieses Bildschirm siehst, einfach deine Lieblingszeit einstellen. Aha. Mach nur, mach nur. Nimm einfach die Uhrzeit, die du willst. Selbst wenn es die, nicht die richtige Zeit ist, du hast es dir verdient. Alles klar, ich lasse dich mal weiterspielen. Okay. Sure. Okay. <laughs> This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk. What is going to be Computer, bist du am Leben? Schon lange. I hate Mondays. <lacht> Müsste diese. <lacht> All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Sie hassen alle Montage. Sabotiere eure Arbeit. Und mach einfach eure Computer aus. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Hier. Ich bring? Mhm. Was ist, wenn ich rechts gehe? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he hey, might find an lesen. answer there. Bestas, ich wollte das lesen. Tipps, um nicht gefeuert zu werden. <lacht> Dinge, die Leute haben wollen. Dinge. <lacht> Freude ausgestrichen. Violet Shapes, sie sind gefeuert. <lacht> Geld, mehr Geld. Dinge. 
Aber mit Geld mein Ding zu kaufen. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Aber hier ist doch was. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an ja, ja. empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers oh. blinking mysteriously Pizza out of existence Lampe. in a single moment for no reason at all? None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? No! Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief, Stanley felt, to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Was? No! Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And it too appeared. It was so much fun. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. No, so no, he closed his eyes here. gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the button. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay.
Und wir sind immer noch hier. Ich weiß nicht, ob die letzten 10 Minuten Stanley mein... Began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. This okay. is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was Bist du dir da sicher? This, and in a certain Mariella? Way, this man made her Bist du dir da sicher? But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Das ist schon echt mies. Das ist schon echt arschig. Einfach zu gehen, wenn du siehst, da liegt einer am Boden. Für 27. Das waren wir davor, 42. 42 meine ich, waren wir doch davor. Jetzt sind wir... Wo, wo kommen die 7 her? Pixellampe! <lacht> Entschuldigung. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Is it the sicher? Das Glas macht aber komische Geräusche. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It has yeah. been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. So schön blau der Raum. Hot Springs. Yes. Get your really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captive. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Bist du dir da sicher? Das hier sieht doch viel interessanter aus. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door and got back on track. Nein, wir fahren Aufzug. Da unten. <lacht> But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go um from here it's um left oh no no it's to the right my mistake du bist ein arsch no 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 not the right 
Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Kannst du keine Karten lesen? Soll ich dir helfen? Soll ich vorbeikommen? Down, right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Bist du dir sicher? No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to um. Oh, who am I kidding? Fired. <laughs> it's all rubbish now. And that fears fired. The unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense? We'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. No. Da war ein Computer nicht aus. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Ja, selbe Spiel wie immer. When Stanley... Wait, wait, what? No, I'm, no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be. Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or? Uh, hold on. Why am I asking you? Yeah, this is who wrote the story. In neun Ordner. Right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Let's find out. Oh. <laughs> uh. oh Gott, wie weiß ich das Wort für gilt nicht, aber... Jeder weiß, was du getan hast. Sie halten es nur zurück und sprechen nicht darüber, damit du dich selber quälst. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you, there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Wieder! I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Nein! Ich war gerade... Du wolltest nicht auf ein Adventure gehen, auf eine Reise, und dann machst du das? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Kaffee! <lacht> uh, okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Aber die Tür war zu. Kaffee. I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. Does he, um, oh, wait, never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Wird die Firma gerade umgebaut? Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? 
Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! <laughs> I know you put in a lot of hard work and it really paid off, so good job. Yay! <laughs> oh no, no, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. <gasps> okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. Vida. All right, I've got a solution. <laughs> this time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. <laughs> Just follow the line. How simple is that? Er war da schon ein Fehler. Du kannst wieder Karte nicht lesen. Oh, da hat jemand solitär gespielt. Was ist das denn? Das ist, das ist, das ist ein Schatten. Ja, das ist da der Schatten. You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, <laughs> are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is in fact a byproduct of one <laughs> subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. Oh, no, runter. I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Music, go back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Uh huh. When you mind. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No, no, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The Hi. story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Ah! Oh, no, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you. No, oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. What is this? This is a bullshit. Der noch was anzeigt. Das sah aus, als ob er eine Innenstadt anzeigt. Du 
You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in... Well, I don't know. How about this direction? Welche? Da. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just hey, me and Stanley forging a spring. new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Oh no, not you! Hello, Linie. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome line to him. story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. Auf Wiedersehen, Linie. Das denkt sich auch jeder zu Weihnachten. Auf Wiedersehen, Linie. Entschuldigung. Nein, kein Ritz hier. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. Mm -hmm. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere. Which means ich kann auch einfach in der Mitte stehen bleiben. Ich kann auch einfach in der Mitte stehen bleiben. Ich kann auch einfach in der Mitte stehen bleiben. Und das in turn bedeutet, dass unsere Destination korrespondiert mit der counter-inverted reverse doors origin. Also, starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? Und since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Steht denn da? Verwirrungsende. Verwartungsraum. Ah. Verwartungsraum abweichen, Monitorraum ankommen, erzählt, startet das Spiel neu erst. Neu steht der Deck, das Spiel. Entdecken, dass der zweite Türraum nun viel weitere Türen hat, ziellose umherwandern. Erzähl statt als Spieler neu. Neustadt. Büro ist jetzt eine Sackgasse und drehen noch nach Sackgasse vorfinden. Anderen Gebäude landen. Erzähl statt das Spiel neu. Neustadt. Abenteuerlinie. Nonsens. Philosophie. Musik. Rückkehr zum Büro. Rückkehr zum Monitorraum. Vierter Neustadt. Abenteuer ist bisher unentdeckt. Die Bereiche. Linie wiederfinden. Auch. Ablaufplan für Verwirrung Ende finden. Erzähler startet das Spiel neu. Fünfter Neustart. Erzähler erinnert sich an bisherige Neustart, bis das Verwirrungsende seid. Aha. Zähler versucht die Story zu spielen, aber wird verhindert, unfähig irgendwo hinzugehen oder irgendwas zu tun. Das Spiel startet sich selbst neu. Neustart. Linie verschwindet. Anfang der Linie zu folgen. Identity oder finden, die begonnen hat, auseinanderzufallen, so eine Story zu finden. Oh, oh, da, das hat aber jetzt lange gedauert. You're telling me that's what this is. It's all one giant ending. And we're supposed to restart the game eight eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined. Wir sehen ja, wie es so enden wird. According to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this this thing wall well who consulted me why don't i get to decide why don't i get a say in all of this du hast die ganze zeit mit sprache recht du durftest die ganze zeit entscheiden i don't want it to be i don't want the game to keep restarting i don't want to forget what's going on i don't want to be trapped like this i won't restart the game i won't do it i won't do it i won't do it bis zum stopped Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Es wäre mal nett, wenn du vielleicht eine der Türen aufmachen würdest für mich. So, 
Okay. <sighs> Open the right. door well, for me. I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you do Da, du wolltest das Spiel nicht neu starten. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here. Talking about the amazing world, the time I did it in Formosa, don't Stanley get fired. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Was? <lacht> das ist ein guter Spruch. Because the boss knows that what the boss says goes. If the boss suffers lo losses, that's what the boss shows. Denn der Chef weiß, das, was er sagt, das wird gemacht. Und wenn er äh, Verluste ergattert, dann ist es, was er wollte. <lacht> Hallo! Auch selbst die Sekretärin ist weg. Oh, so hat er dann zwei Telefone hier. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, two eight four five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Two eight four five. Aha. Uh -huh. Wofür werden wir das brauchen? Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Ja, und wo soll ich das? Ah, da soll ich. <lacht> ich suche die ganze Zeit, weil ich diesen Punkt habe. Du bist aber ein sehr weiter, weit ausgedehnter Punkt. So, acht, vier, fünf. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. Und He stepped war. into the newly opened passageway. I had to do a lot of work on the Aufzug, even when I Hallo? Ich 
Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did yeah. he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Amazing! Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to... Whoa, whoa. Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place, where... Aha! You've made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. Welcome! You see, back when the Stanley Parable first launched in 2013, getting to the bottom of the mind control facility was a bug that we simply didn't catch during development. And you all sent us lots of photos of it on Twitter and acted very superior about it. And you're all very, very clever. Good for you. Anyway... When it came time to update the game, we knew that we had to do something about this little goof of ours. So, here you go. New content. You can call it the bottom of the mind control room ending, if that enhances your perception of the value of these updates. Isn't that what you crave? New content? Always more content, more content, more, 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 more. And I'm here to give it to you. I'm here to make it seem like we really covered every nook and cranny of the game with secrets and easter eggs. How about this? We wrote a new piece of music just for this section. You won't hear it anywhere else in the game. It's a secret that's just for you. That's how special you are. We call this track, Good Job You've Made It to the Bottom of the Mind Control Facility. Well done. Good job. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Good job. You made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. You would have believed I rose. Catwalk. You should have been careful. You should have been careful. It used to be a bug, but now it's an ending. Now it's an ending. I believe in you, I believe in your ability to cross this barrier and chase your dreams, but railings don't mean anything. Good job, you did it, 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 good job, you did it. Sind wir fertig? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office.
Stepping into his a manager's nine? office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Then gets wieder runter. Walk straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Aha, when you meinst? The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, it reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Goodbye. Wenn nicht mit dir. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Das war aber gelogen. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Das Büro. <lacht> Knopfgeräusche. Oh, kann bitte drücken. Was? Relation Chart Pro 2.1 Okay. Ja, 
house is cool. This choice obeys that to disobey won't prevent this choice. Kann ich nichts mit ihnen machen? Pausenmenü, okay. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Bist du jetzt wie Gladys? Chefbüro. Ah, hier sind wir zurück bei den Credits. Sure, we'll get him right back on track to where he was supposed to be in the Now look closely, Stanley. See how it's impossible for the player to do anything in this room. Perfect example of poor level design. Textbook mistake. Came to the It's the kind of thing you'd pick up on intuitively if you had even the most fundamental understanding of good and bad game design. But of course, you being you, you'll probably spend the next hour trying to solve it. Here, I'm just going to make this easy. Credits. Credits. He credits. No, wir haben hier Exit. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time...
Ja? Loading. Oh no! I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he and this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow, yes, this room. What about eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Who caused this? This death. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. But when I blau lieber mag? Hey, rot passt heute zu meinem Pullover. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just, I want it to stop. I would, we would both be so much happier if we just stopped. And I think, well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm. Here. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this... No, wait. Where are you going? Oh, no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Please, Stanley, think about what you're doing. Naja, sterben will ich nicht. Oh, wie cool. Good, good. We can't be too safe. Promise me you won't go back there. Hmm? Just, just stay here. Was soll ich hier mit? Was soll ich hier machen? Soll ich hier für immer bleiben? Also den falschen Knopf gedrückt, das muss ich dann zusammenschneiden. Gut. So. Dann bitte sag mir jetzt mal, was ich hier soll.
No. What do we talk about? You're risking everything we achieved here. Yeah, but so you stand down. You heard me before, didn't you? You will die. What about this? Isn't getting through to you? Whoop! No! Oh, thank God, you lived. You had me worried there for a moment. Now, no, no, no. What are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? My God, is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? Or maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. Do you actually want to stay alive? Or are you just teasing me? Uh, what are we in this room doing? That's schwarz. I wanted us to be happy here, Stanley. I really did. I wish I still thought that was possible. Okay. Aber man sieht jetzt wirklich hier Ewigkeiten rumstehen bringt was. Das ist cool. Verabschiedet sich mein Licht kurz. Moment. Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing?
When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Wie lange fahren wir denn? Ach, hier schon mit meinen Bändchen. Hier, dann fahren wir oh, mal runter.
The moment he entered his manager's office, Stanley froze in his tracks. Not a living soul anywhere. Could he really be all alone? This was too much for Stanley to take. Too much for any man to take. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley no. calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Man merkt sogar nicht, dass dieses Spiel mir langsam auf den Senkel geht, oder? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't <clears throat> accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all.
Willst du das hier sehen? Nein, Computer. And when at last he found the source. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated? All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you gets quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One, solved? 
Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here, just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count, or don't. It's all the same to me, all a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. Good. Goodbye. Stanley had never seen the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? He hoped it was. He hoped very much that it was. Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content? Thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... or oh, here we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. It's as if them... Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. All right. All right, let's see. It's the jump circle. Wie springen, das ist fies. Is, is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Goodness, another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, 
and I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. Oh, it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley Parable is really about. No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? Wir sind keine Freunde. Das sage ich dazu. Psst. Stanley, come over here. In the vent. I want to show you something. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. I call it the Memory Zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all of them. And now, it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Oh, these were simpler times, Stanley. 
but I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? Oh no. Oh god no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's been collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley? I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh dear. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I... What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Of course, I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, you need a description of it, but... <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Oh, I can't wait to see what Cookie 9 will say about this, and whether they'll edit the rating of their steam... Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe... 30, 45 minutes? It's not unendurable. Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, please don't push the button again! It's been 12 hours! You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting... Oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I... I think it's been a week. Or two weeks? I've been sick. Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only...
that they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, End. Es ist so still. The end is never 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 the end Oh, wie schön. Schnell weg. Ich weiß zwar nicht, wo es hingeht. 